the soap of beautiful women and Tide for the cleanest clothes in town present Bert Hilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Come on, there's just a teensy bit in here. Dolores? You just finish up every little bit. Oh, gracious sakes, I forgot to put your bib on. Oh, dear me, I guess it's too late now. Oh, dear. Oops. Get everything all taken care of. Been a very good girl this afternoon. I'm very proud of you. Don't mind babysitting for such a sweet little girl as you. Been very good. There, now. We finished everything. Dinner. We finished. And now, perhaps before, let me see, they'll be home pretty soon. Now, Dolores, you be a good girl here. Would you like to play with your blocks a little bit before you take your bath? Well, I'm not quite sure what you said, but I'm sure it's all right. Now, they'll be home, and you remember what we said? Kukla and Ollie said that if we were good, and if you were a good girl today, and stayed home while they went to the ball game, that uh, tomorrow you and I could go to the zoo, could have a wonderful time together. <laughs> well, you'll love the zoo, dear. So just uh, just relax. I've got to go see how the scalloped potatoes are doing. Oh, wait, here are your blocks. Play with your blocks now. Box and you may play with them. I guess you're just too old for that now, Dolores. <laughs> Got to look at those scalloped potatoes. Dear me, I hope I put enough onions in them. <laughs> now, Dolores, I have to get the dinner ready. I put the casserole in and everything's going to be all right. Well, yeah, I have to look at it once in a while. <laughs> We're having a vegetarian dinner. <laughs> having... Uh, let me see. We're going to have uh, scalloped potatoes, and we're going to have uh, carrots, 
and parsley, and uh, oh, let me see, turnips, and cauliflower, and raw cabbage. <laughs> now, Dolores, just be a good girl, and I'll, I'll tell you a little bedtime story, but first we've got to take our baths, don't we? No, I don't have to. I took my shower this afternoon, but I promised Cook and Molly that you would be safe in bed by the time they got home, and, and so that Fran wouldn't have to give you your bath tonight, I decided I'd do that for her. Now, you just be a good girl, I'll get the tub. Just right for you, Dolores. All right, dear. There. Sit up straight. There you are, girl. <clears throat> oh, let me see. Here you are. Don't splash, dear. Please don't splash. There you are, little canoe. It'll float right there. Here you are, dear. Now, don't splash. Don't, uh, Dolores, uh, Dolores, dear. Be careful, please. Just be careful now. Now, let me see. Where's our wash rag? Here's our wash rag, and we're going to be all set, and we're going to be just as clean as a whistle. Yes, sirree, Bob. You're going to shine tonight. I can just see you. Oh, what a lovely... Lovely little baby dragon you are. All right, dear, here's your airplane. Dolores, honestly, you're going to have so many things in the bathtub, there won't be room for you. Oh, dear me. Thank goodness we have plenty of cami. Oh dear, I want the bath size. Oh, Dolores, wait. Dolores, stop! Dolores? Your boat sank. <laughs> Just watch it, Dolores. Just be very careful. Look, Dolores. Your favorite soap, Kame. Why, of course, naturally. You know, Dolores, you may be just a little baby dragon now, but one day you're going to grow up and you're going to be a very beautiful and a very handsome young dragoness. I know that. If you take after your cousin Oliver and his mother, that side of the family, they certainly are beautiful, beautiful dragonesses. And you know that Kame is the soap of beautiful women. So, I just want you to always be sure to use it, dear. You will, won't you? Is that yes? Good. Now I got the wrapper off. And we'll start in. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful fuzz this makes. Oh, you'll love it, dear. Here we go. Now. Now, hold still. There we go. Oh, you know, you're going to win a smoother, softer skin with your first take of Cam-A, and when you change to regular care, use Cam-A and Cam-A alone. <laughs> yes, the daily Cam-A beauty bath makes you lovelier from head to toes. <laughs> oh. Now we'll get in these ears. Hold still. Ears. Ah. Oh, now ears. Now turn around. I'm so glad we laid in a good stock of Camay. We have the regular size, and then, of course, the beauty bath size of the larger cake. It's so handy for the bathtub. Just want you to remember something, Dolores. Remember this very well. There's no finer beauty soap in all the world than Camay. 
The soap of beautiful dragon of uh, women. All right, I'll rinse. There you are. Now, where's your towel? Here's a towel. All set and all ready. All right, Dolores. Good girl. Good girl. I'll be home soon. Oh, I smell, I smell those potatoes. They must have boiled over. Come on, dear, now. I'm down here. Get in front of the heater here. There. They don't get in before I... Good enough for now. All right, Dolores. Oh, how beautiful you look. Oh, all pink and fresh and clean. <laughs> Smoother, softer skin, all right. I can just see it. All right, now hold still. Hold still. Now stay right there. Don't go away. Nighty nightgown. Just a minute. Have patience, dear. Hold still. Your Uncle Fletcher doesn't know how to do this so well. There you are. There, my. Don't you look fine. How do you feel? Hold still now. I want you to look very lovely. They'll never regret leaving you in Fletcher Rabbit's care. Ha, ha, ha. No sorry, Bob. They won't. There, your curls are all fresh and lovely. Now that's enough, Dolores. Now just relax now. All right, now up to bed. Up to bed, Dolores. Come on, Dolores. Dolores, dear, we've had such a pleasant day all day long. We don't want to have any trouble today, do we? Everything is fine and perfect, isn't it? Dolores, come on. Dolores. Dolores. Dolores, let go. Don't you dare. Oh, bedtime story. All righty. All right, now just relax. <clears throat> Once upon a time, <clears throat> There was, there was a young man, there was a young princess, <clears throat> and um, she, um, oh yes, she lived with her father who was a king in a palace. I don't know what kind of palace, it was just a palace. And they, <clears throat> uh, this um, young girl um, was uh, doomed because you see she had, there was a dragon, Uh, that wasn't the story I was going to tell you, Dolores. Gracious sakes, how could I forget? No, there was another, uh, this, once upon a time, there was a little rabbit. His name was Peter Co Dolores, couldn't you do without a story? Fran will tell you one when she gets home. I'll sing you a little song. Come along, dear. Oh, dear, the scalloped potatoes. Come along, dear. Come on up, come on, Fran! Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, wasn't that great? <laughs> oh boy, that was sensational. Anybody mm. home? Yeah, I don't know. I smell something cooking. Wow, what a game. <laughs> Jack, wasn't that a great game? <laughs> oh boy, Franny, hot dog. Ooh, oh. that Andy Pasco. Oh, he's wasn't he great? great? Yeah. Wonderful. Just, oh, was I Killer went all the way. Yeah, he did well. Oh, What's his I first guess? name? Killer. I didn't look at my... Well, it's not on my scorecard. It could have been George, yeah, couldn't it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's been wonderful. Yeah, wasn't it great? Oh, oh boy. Right from chilly. the very first inning. A little chilly, but it... I yeah, a little chilly. But it, it didn't matter. As soon as I saw him 
start uh, playing ball, it seemed like spring was here. Jimmy. Sun was so bright. Yeah. Hear about the socks? Hey, how are you? Great. Oh, boy, wasn't that fun? Oh. You stopped somewhere on the way home? No, I came home with Bill. Oh, did you? She's a sore head. She's very upset today. What's she mad about? Oh, she's mad. She was for Cincinnati. She was. Didn't she? Well, that's but she was for St. Louis, too. She was for St. Louis. I understand the Sox beat St. Louis. Yeah, they did. Oh, gee whiz. She was very upset. She and Colonel Crocky were so upset they wouldn't speak to us. Isn't that a shame? The whole last part of the game. You start out in such a blaze of glory. I was, I was just uh, saying. You got to go every time and root. Yeah, well, I want to root as much as I can, boy. Sure. Hey, wasn't that, that fond he was great, wasn't he? Yeah, real great. Boy, he, he's real great. Was it a triple? Yeah, a triple. Dude. Triple. Yeah, and, and then, he's a he's a new fellow, isn't he, for the Cubs? I yeah. Well, that's the first time I've ever seen him play, I think. A rookie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was fun. He's a great fella. <laughs> I hope we have a chance this year. I just hope. Oh, gee, I hope so, too. We better be careful, you know. I was just thinking if uh, Beulah Witch and uh, Colonel Cracky feel that strongly about Cincinnati and St. Louis, why, maybe some of our other friends won't be so happy if we're rooting for the Cubs. Well, you can't help the first ro- game. You well, have sure, to root. You root for your home team. Everybody has to do that. Sure. Everybody ought to go to every game he can. We rooted for the Sox and we rooted for the Cubs. They're our home team and we have to root for them. Well, I, I know, but... Never mind, you know, but We just have to root for them. And I'm going out there. I'm going to I'm gonna work well, out the whole You've got teach me a lot, so I'll, I'll know all the, all the technical plays. Fran, you know more about baseball than I No, do. I don't, but I'll learn. I'll you show me how. I'll be glad to teach you. Will you? Oh, certainly. Uh, it won't be long now before the Cuckoo and Nine gets going, and we're going to get out there and really get going. Jack uh, fashioned out about a book last year, and uh, he knows all about it. He, he can score and everything. Can you play Peggy Bounce out? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't in the book. Oh, well, <laughs> we start with that, and then we'll, we'll, we'll Work practice. Out. That'll be good. That'll look good practice, good batting practice. See, I'm going to train you, because I'm the captain. How come? I have the ball. Oh, well, I have a, a mitt. That doesn't make any difference. You can have a mitt, but you can't play a game without a ball. you got to have some place to put it, too. Well, sir, sure. How you about you, your bat? How about I, your bat? My bat? Well, what are you going to bat if you don't have a ball? What are you, you going to hit the ball with if you don't have a bat? You can always use a piece of wood. I hope it's not a regulation one. It's supposed to be a regulation. We're not professional. Well, we're supposed to have all those things anyway. Well, you know, baseball, that's the name of it. If you haven't got a ball, you're no good. You're not in. So that's why I'm captain. I'm going to see where my ball is. <laughs> I want to scuff it up a little bit, you know, get in good shape. <laughs> hey, we need a whisk broom, too. Oh, oh sure, basis. Hmm? Yeah, you're gonna. Aren't you gonna be the umpire? I thought you was gonna. I don't know. I'll see. I'll be an umpire. <laughs> no, I want you to play with us this year. You were umpire last year, Fran. Okay. We can let Fletcher Rabbit be umpire. Oh no. Oh, no. safe. We'd never uh, get into no. an argument. No, he's too good a runner anyway. Dizzy Dean says you might as well argue with a stump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Fletcher Rabbit's too good a runner. We've got to. We've got to keep him. I guess we'll just keep him on the team. Well, I'm gonna look for the ball. We we just about got a pretty good team. All Who right. could we challenge? Well, I don't know. Let me see. We could. Uh, uh, well, we could. Howdy doody. Can they play <coughs> ball? I don't know. Well, we wouldn't want to play lucky pop. That's for sure. <laughs> well, who could we who could we play? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the Garraway Show someday. Hmm? Maybe so. What if Roberta Quinlan's got? I wonder if she's got a, a team. We could we could ask. I her. don't know. Maybe we could get the, she could get John Cameron Swayze and, uh, and, uh, we could get our team. We could try anyway. Well, let's kind of issue some invitations and see if we can get a game going. I think it'd be real, really wonderful. Oh, what's cooking for dinner? Smells like, a little like cheese. Yeah, it does. And onions are smells Burning. Like burning. Yes, I, smells like it to me. Anything burning down there? No, it just ran over. Did you have a good time? Great, great. The cup is born. That's good. Fletcher? What? The Cubs won. Fine. Fran? Wasn't he interested? Certainly I'm interested in baseball. Not the Cubs. You forget. I come from Washington. But you you come from there, but you're here now. You're here now. This is your home team now. Is it? Well, good. I'm glad the Cubs won. Well, fine. That's a, what are we having for dinner? Cam A. No, 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 no. I was just going to give you a report. 
I'm the Dolores. I, I gave I gave uh, Dolores her Came beauty bath. Did you? Oh, and she looks just wonderful. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you did, Fletcher. Did you did you find the the, uh, the bath size cake? Oh yes, yes indeed. I found it very neatly stacked. There was the, the regular size and the and the uh, the larger size, the beauty bath size, all sta uh, stacked right there in in the cupboard. And we're having um we're going to have um uh, uh, scalloped potatoes and carrots and uh, it's a uh, sort of a, a rabbit goulash I made up. And it's all together, but it's vegetarian. Uh, it's uh, cauliflower, scalloped potatoes, uh, minted carrots, uh, rutabaga, and, uh, uh, oh, let me see, what was that other thing I put in there? Uh, vinegar. Vinegar? Oh, yes, that helps. Puts a little tang in it. Dolores good? Yes, she was, but she wants a bedtime story. She won't go to sleep until uh, you tell her a bedtime story. Well, so I'll go and tell her. Yeah, if you'd like to, Francis. Whatever you'd like to do. Well, I had a nice day. I can do it. Well, I'm awfully glad they won. Who? Who you said? Who did I say? The baseball team, which you said. Which one? The, uh, Buds. Why don't you go join Beulah Company? He's off sulking somewhere in the kitchen. Gracious sakes, she'll get into my goulash. Well, let me see now. I can't remember what we planned to do today, Fran. Let me see now, we're going to have, we're going to have dinner. Then after this, hey, I got a great song. Great song. What for? A baseball song for, uh, for the Cucopolitan Nine. Which one's that? Well, you remember, remember the, uh, the song that uh, Jack wrote last year, Spring Has Sprung. Oh, yeah, we did that this year, too. Well, I wrote new words to it, and just great. We're going to use it. I thought it might, you know, give us a little pep session of some sort. Oh, great. Well, how's it go? Well, if I have Jack's help, then I will, uh, I will sing it. Do you mind leaving me for a moment? No, I'll be glad to listen out here. I better look and see what's happened to the goulash. Go to the park. A baseball park, where else would I go for a springtime lark? To the game, the baseball game, the game in which I learned considerable fame. At pitching a fastball like a bolt from the blue, my batting is average, just 692. Play ball, you guys, home run, you guys. What a crucial time of the game this is. The pitcher warms up. The pitcher winds up. He throws to the batter who swings, but he misses. Strike! You're out! There's no ball. Doesn't make any difference. That's the song. I can't find the ball. I couldn't find it either. Frank, have you seen the ball anywhere? No. Look at the goulash. In the what? Well, everything else is in there. <coughs> oh, gracious sakes, not the ball. Oh, wasn't it a nice day? Fletcher, did you put my baseball in the goulash? Yes, I good. most certainly did not. I most certainly did not. I would never put them in your overshoes. My overshoes? Is he cooking overshoes for dinner? Oh, I don't know. Certainly, goulash. Get it? I goulash. eat my stuff at the game. I'm not very hungry. Oh, cook, honestly. I fell for that. <laughs> I think Dolores has it. Well, you gave my baseball to Dolores. Oh, for heaven's sake. Well, I'm sorry she wanted to play with it. Oh. 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 I hope that isn't the last we've seen of it. I hope not. Fran, did you see my mitt? No. Oh, yours is a dandy. Isn't that a great one? Oh, yeah. yeah. Gee, that's swell. Beulah you Witch know uses it sometimes. She does? Yeah. Got my catcher's mitt, too. I don't know how I'm going to be a catcher this year or not. Oh, in this Cecil Beulah's usually a catcher. Mm-hmm. I've seen uh, Cecil Beulah today. Where was he? He was at the game. I didn't see him. He was in the bleachers. Oh. He, he always likes to sit out in the mm -hmm. bleachers. Because he likes to yell real loud. Yeah. Feels like he has more freedom out there. Gee, I bet there was a lot of wind out there today. If oh, it? boy. Sure, it was kind of chilly. But, you know, Fran, as soon as I... I don't know, I hear the crack of the ball against the bat. And, and even, you know, even at home when we I hear the games on radio or watch them on television, it's just a sure sign that spring has come. Even even though it practically snowed here today, I know it, it did seem kind of springy. There's a little green around now. Almost green up top. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yesterday morning I did see blossoms on the apple tree. I took a breath and thought, could it be? It's green up time. Then I began to look around, and in every field I found, greens were pushing up through the ground for green up time. And sure enough, the bluebells tinkled, April's in the glen. And sure enough, I fell in love with love again. Then I started feeling awfully bright. I had a thought that hit me right. I'll have my honey dance me tonight and have a time to welcome in the green of time. To welcome in the green of time. That's cute. I like that. Hello, kids. Hi, Beulah. Y'all set? You all set for a little practice game? Oh, see for Cubs? No! See for Cincinnati! Don't be silly. Hey, Beulah, you gonna play with us? No, I'm gonna umpire this year! Oh, well, if you're for Cincinnati, how can you be a umpire? I'm going to umpire because I just have the voice for it. Well, yeah, you have that. Yes, I really have. I've, I've been told that I'm basically unsympathetic, that I have a raucous voice, so that makes me a good umpire <laughs> and I'm going in. Tell me I'm out. You're out! <laughs> Supposed to be faster than that. Yeah. No. Well, give me the thumb business, too. I have to yell it. You don't even say you say, oh, ah! That's right. All right. Yeah. That will get you some good reviews, dude. And, well, that's what I thought. I thought I'd work <laughs> on it. Well, see you later. I'm going down to practice Morocco's voice. Okay, Beulah. <laughs> you think she's basically unsympathetic? I have never thought so. I thought she was... To whom? Hmm? To whom? To herself, I suppose. Herself? I, I never take time to figure those things out. They kind of confuse me. Big words like that, you know? Hey, kids. Yeah. Found the baseball. So oh, we practice. good. Yeah, Dolores had it, but she just, uh, she just wanted she to practice. She gave it up without a struggle? Yeah, she did. <laughs> How about it? You all set? Yeah, I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired, too, but I, I think we could play a little catch for a while. I'd like to warm up just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, well, before we go, I just have one thing to say, if I may. You start, Koopa. Oh, sure. For a smoother, softer complexion, use Kame. The soap of beautiful women. Hello. You know, Tide's really a wash day miracle. Because it not only gets out ordinary dirt, but also leaves your wash free from dulling soap film. And that one fact alone made no rinsing practical. Yes, with Tide, you can save all the time and work of rinsing, and you'll get the cleanest possible no-rinse wash. But if you prefer to rinse, here's what Tide promises you. Tide will get your clothes cleaner than any soap, cleaner than any other washing product sold throughout America. We've proved that in the laboratory, and you women see the proof in the cleaner clothes your children wear to school, in the cleaner shirts you give your husband. Yes, when your wash is a Tide wash, it's the cleanest wash in town. Tide gets clothes cleaner than any soap. Any soap? Yes, any soap. You get the cleanest wash in town with the Tide. The musical director of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie is Jack Fashionato. The producer is Beulah Zachary. The director is Louis Gomovitz. And the costume designer is Joseph Lockwood. And this is Bert Tilstrom. All right, play ball! Kukla, Fran, and Ollie has been brought to you from Chicago by Tide for the cleanest clothes in town and Kame, the soap of beautiful women. NBC Television.